Hello and welcome to the daily cricket show, Cricket Happenings with your host Ram. And on this particular show, uh, well, as you know, Sri Lanka had to win the two remaining matches. Today was the fourth ODI, but in fact, India had a crushing victory. So that um, essentially means that uh, Sri Lanka automatically right now, as of now, I mean, they still have an opportunity, but uh, if they had won the uh, two matches, they would have actually automatically qualified for the World Cup 2019. But now they have to wait. They have to wait for qualifying. They still have an opportunity, but as, as I told you, but it is a race between Sri Lanka and West Indies because now Sri Lanka has to look at how West Indies fare against England in the ODIs. And then that is the that is the only way that Sri Lanka can automatically qualify. So so that is one news that I would like to share about. And the, it's, uh, we are talking about the fourth ODI where the Indians on a belt of a wicket had a crushing victory by 168 runs with um, with um, Virat Kohli uh, going and making his 29th ODI ton and Rohit Sharma following it with the second century of his of this uh, ODI series uh, and India went on to a, a t very tall total of 375. Angelo Matthews tried his bet to use all his experience to uh, see what he could do but all in the end it was all over 168 runs victory for India. So I'll be talking about that and uh, also we will talk about the Caribbean Premier League. There was a wonderful match that was played yesterday and what one saw yesterday was a 20 year old boy uh, by the name Eugene Thomas I suppose. I'm going to talk about it. He, he, he was bowling at 150 clicks at the age of 20 and he's a very well-built lad and he was really firing it in as uh, he was the one and he was in the team. I'll tell you about it. I'll be talking about that as and when it comes. Uh, and also there is another match which is going on currently uh, between the Barbados Tridents and uh, St. Luke Stars and uh, Barbados Tridents right now are 94 for 3 and we are in the 13th over and we also have some look at cricket news where Sharab Khan has been scalped by the Brisbane Heat in the Big Bash League. So I'm going to start off uh, by talking about the fourth ODI. So let's talk about the fourth ODI. India were the ones who actually won the toss and elected to bat first. Well, the start was not good for sure. They had debutants on both the sides. India had Shardul Thakur making his debut and the other end it was uh, Dilshan Munavira, the opening batsman and um, uh, um, Pushpa Kumara who was actually making their ODI debut. So it all started with uh, Shikhar Dhawan uh, being an early victim when he was caught by Pushpa, Pushpa Kumara of the bowling of Fernando for four of six balls with one four. That was wicket number one. But after that what followed was uh, simply uh, I would say very tough times for Sri Lanka because it was a huge partnership which started between Rohit Sharma and Virat Kohli which added 219 runs to the good. Uh, in, um, in how many overs I can tell you that they probably they took 30 overs about 29 to be precise 29 overs they added 219 runs it was well done too. Rohit Sharma was in his element no doubt about it. Virat Kohli was uh, playing his pull shots uh, his cut shots, I mean, he was absolutely at ease. Both the batsmen were at ease. And there was nothing that they could worry them. The ballers were really getting tonk for runs. Malinga, Fernando, Matthews, um, uh, Pushpa Kumara on his debut uh, was listless. Uh, Dhananjaya then, then went for runs. Everybody who bowled actually went for runs. And this partnership went on to great proportions. Uh, from India um, uh, at the time when they were 6 for 1, they recovered to 225 uh, with um, Virat Kohli making his uh, 29th ODI ton and he made 131 of 96 deliveries, 17 fours and two sixes. Rohit Sharma's contribution was 104 of 88 deliveries, 11 fours and three sixes. Uh, as that wicket went, that really gave Sri Lanka some heart when um, Rohit Sharma was out to Matthews for 104. Kohli was out to Malinga for 131. Hardik Pandya um, um, hit 19 of 18, that's 1 4 and 1 6. Rahul once again uh, falling cheaply, not having a good ODI series. KL Rahul coming into the middle order. 
got this one about Dhanan Jaya, Prasanna Dhanan Jaya got his only wicket of okay, Rahul and then it was left and that was the time uh, that Sri Lanka I thought uh, really came, not came back into the game but uh, what they did is uh, they were 274 for 5 at the stage when Rahul left the scene and Rahul left the scene in the 38th over and at that time uh, India would have definitely be eyeing 400, there was no doubt about it uh, with uh, still some batting to come in the form of Mahindra Singh Dhoni uh, Manish Pandey got his opportunity and uh, but um, I thought the Sri Lankans did well uh, to pull it off uh, in the sense uh, they really uh, kept um, India on a tight leash uh, not not a tight leash I would say in the 38 overs they were 274 for 5 and um, I would say uh, around 81 runs was added uh, in the balance 13 overs by the pair of Mahindra Singh Dhoni who remained not out of 49 42 Dalvis 5 fours and 1 six and Manish Pandey um, coming into the once again showing what a consistent player he is. He made an unbeaten 50 of 42 done race with four fours as India uh, finished at 374 for five of the 50 overs. Malinga 10 overs, one for 82, was slammed, I would say. Fernando 8 overs, one minute, one for 76. Angelo Matthews, six overs, two minutes, 24 runs and two wickets, bowled with semblance of respectability. Pushpa Kumara, nine overs, cost him 65 without a wicket. Dhananjaya 10 overs 1 for 68, uh, De Silva 2 overs 1 for 19, and Mirinda Srivardhana 5 overs no maiden none for 36. Now 375 was the target, 76 was the target for the Sri Lankans and the Sri Lankans never uh, started I would say because uh, today they had Nishan Dikwala with the uh, deputy and opening bounce from Munavira uh, but it was quick work by the Indians. I mean uh, they kept on uh, piling the pressure on the Lankans uh, with the tall total as uh, Shardul Thakur uh, got his uh, maiden ODI wicket and Dhoni, Dhoni got the catch. And also uh, one thing that I would like to share that Lasit Malinga went on to pick up his uh, 300 wickets when he actually had the scalp of very very and you will always remember that because he, he took the wicket of the very priceless uh, Virat Kohli. Um, as he picked up his 300 wicket and as far as the Sri Lankans were concerned uh, Dikwala uh, was caught behind the balling of Shadul Thakur for 14 of 11 deliveries, 3 fours. Uh, Munavira and uh, Mendis were, were at the crease uh, but um, as I said it was Harakiri then Mendis was run out by Rahul for 1 um, Dilshan Munavira did not have a good depot caught behind the balling of Bumra for 11 of 24 balls with 1-4 uh, Tirumani went to the balling of Pandya for 18 of 27, gone for one six, and then it was left to Angelo Matthews and Sri Vardhana to actually go and stem the tide uh, for the uh, for the Sri Lankans from 68 for four. Uh, the the partnership uh, really really uh, it was uh, let me see how much I mean they they basically uh, bowled uh, 73 runs 73 runs partnership uh, happened between uh, Melinda Sri Vardhana and Angelo Matthews uh, as Angelo Matthews and Sri Varna tried to retrieve the situation for Sri Lanka as they were struggling at one stage at 68 for 4 and then they managed to push it on uh, with this uh, partnership to 141 and that was the time Melinda Sri Varna uh, fell, um, fell after making uh, 39 of 43 times 3 fours, become a victim of Pandya and but Angelo Matthews was still there he was uh, really doing a good job for his team he was trying to keep the keep things moving for the Sri Lankans but the problem was that there was nobody to really lend him any support and he himself perished uh, after making 70 of 80 Dalvis 10 fours Dhananjaya was not out on 11 in the end um, De Silva was run out for 22 uh, of uh, as many balls 2 fours 1 6 Pushpa Kumara was out for 3 to the balling Bumbra Fernando was caught on board Kuldeep Yadav for five. Malinga was clean board by Kuldeep Yadav. And that was the end of the Sri Lankan innings. They were all out for 207. Thus winning the match by India. Winning the match by 158 runs. And now India would be eyeing a clean sweep of this ODI series in Sri Lanka. As they lead 4-0. The balling Shardul Thakur on his debut uh, in ODI. So would be very happy that uh, he picked up the first wicket. 7 was 1 made and 1 for 20. No made and 1 for 26. Bumbra 7 overs 2 for 32 did a fine job. Uh, Pandya 8 overs 2 for 50. Virat Kohli bowled 2 overs for 12. Kuldeep Yadav 8.4 overs 1 mid and 31 runs and 2 wickets. And Akshar Padel 10 overs no mid and 1 for 55. 
Uh, Virat Kohli uh, was the uh, player of the match in this uh, particular match. Uh, Virat Kohli for his 131 runs that he had. And as I said, India now take a lead of uh, 4-0 uh, in the ODI series here. And uh, I'm sure, um, uh, you know, the Sri Lankans have really missed the bus. I mean, they had an opportunity, but the Indians have been proving very, very strong uh, for the Sri Lankans. Now, let's uh, shift the attention down to the Caribbean Premier League. As far as the Caribbean Premier League is concerned, I'm talking about the match that happened yesterday. It, was, it happened between Jamaica Talawas and um, the St. Lucia Zoo, uh, the, the Patriots. And the Patriots were out of the uh, CPL, I would say. But Jamaica Talawas uh, were the ones who actually batted first. Um, the, the, uh, they, they made 157 for 5. It was driven by Kumar Sangakara, the captain's knock of 69 of 55 balls, 4 4s and 3 6s, where Sangakara still showed that his power and timing uh, are omnipresent, I would say. Uh, Glenn Phillips uh, gave a good company to slam 31 of 32, 1 4, 1 6. Uh, McCarthy 2, Powell, Roman Powell, um, uh, you know, pummeled 43 of just 26 deliveries, 2 4s and 3 6s. 157 for 5 was the score that Jamaica Talavas had on the board. And now it was the turn of St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots uh, to chase 158 runs from uh, 20 overs. And uh, I can say that um, uh, one thing that was really, really impressive as far as Jamaica Talavas were concerned was the, uh, I think it was, uh, if, I, if I'm not wrong, Oshin Thomas uh, was making his uh, debut or Oshin Thomas was uh, probably playing his first match. This was his first match, I suppose. And what a spell of bowling from this youngster. Um, at 158 to win, Chris Gale and Evan Lewis are the crease, two dynamites at the crease. And look at what Ushane uh, Thomas did. Now, what one saw from Ushane Thomas uh, was something very splendid uh, because he, he kept Gale quiet for two balls. And in the third ball, with a delivery uh, which came in, he actually trapped the Gale LBW uh, for naught. And that was a big wicket. And Shane Thomas, let me tell you, um, he bowled superbly. And what was impressive about him, he was hit, hitting the 150 mark as far as speed was concerned. And that was really a concern for the map because he was getting the ball to really, really rear up. And with his pace, I mean, he's a very tall bloke as well, six feet. Um, uh, he's six feet. And uh, the way he bowled uh, and also seeing his physique that he has of a tall, I, it really... It tells me like I, 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 I probably think about Patrick Patterson, uh, the former West Indies bowler. I mean, that was the, the, the build was absolutely ideal, like Patrick Patterson. And what a spell of bowling from this young, young boy, 20 years old, generating speeds of 150. And, uh, and I'm sure this guy, um, this guy one day uh, would probably play for the West Indies. Uh, Gail uh, was LBW bowl, Thomas for not, and Thomas also. Uh, took the wicket of Brathwaite when Kumar Sangakara brought him back and uh, he picked up his wicket uh, caught by Griffith and then Mohamed Nabi was caught uh, caught and bowled Thomas as he got a ball to really rear up and Mohamed Nabi uh, was into the um, uh, in, into his shot and the ball skied and Mohamed Nabi and Thomas took good catch so three wickets were taken by Thomas three for 31 of four overs uh, Evan Lewis uh, really really entertained uh, as he bludgeoned and 40 of 17 Delvis after the departure of Gale with six fours and two sixes. Hafiz made 21. Thomas, uh, D. Thomas, Devon Thomas, 14. Uh, Carter, 3. Breakweight, 7. And it was all over. I mean, thanks to that uh, Thomas uh, spell, uh, in fact, the, in fact, the, the Ken Kids and Nevis Patriots were bowled off 116. 3 for 31 for Thomas and Togi, 3 for 10. Bowled excellently, 3.5 overs, one maiden, uh, 3 for 10. Bowled well, Mohamed Sami, 2 for 30 of 3 overs, was a bit costly. Kesik Bolim was 1 for 25, Amrugula 4 overs, none for 18. Also did his job uh, in a pretty good manner. And that was, the, um, uh, that was what happened yesterday. And right now we do have one match which is underway here uh, in the, in the, between, Balans, uh, between Barbados Tridents uh, and the uh, St. Lucia Zoops. And as I'm talking to you, we are in the 15th over here at Bridgetown in Barbados. And Barbados Tridents are 129 for three. As I'm talking to you, Dwayne Smith is doing a fine job. Um, um, he's not around 68 of 47, four fours and four sixes. 
Morgan is not out on four uh, and both are looking pretty good. Morgan, as you know, he can also be a very devastating player, as you know. So 129 for they are very well placed right now. Probably they should be aiming at around 170 yard mark, I suppose, in the St. Lucia Zooks. So that's a bad situation. Now I'll give you some, some cricket news as well. The cricket news is coming in uh, from the Big Bash League in Australia. As you know, the Pakistani bowler Shadab Khan, the Ram next spinner, who has a wonderfully, um, a, a wonderful good league to bowl. Uh, he has been uh, signed up by the Brisbane Heat. So, as you know, he played for PSL, then got an opportunity in the Pakistan team. And then uh, he played, if I'm not wrong, he played for the Bangladesh Premier League. I'm not sure about that. Uh, but uh, now he has been scalped here. Shadab Khan has been scalped with the Brisbane Heat in the Big Bash League. So he'll be playing for Big Bash uh, for Brisbane Heat. So that is the match situation uh, as far as um, uh, the, 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 the as far the cricket news is concerned. Uh, but that's it, my dear fans, subscribers. Uh, as far as uh, today's uh, daily cricket show goes, hope you all enjoyed this cricket broadcast of mine. Uh, with more to come on my next cricket broadcast, uh, this is your host Ram uh, bidding you all. Uh, a very good night.